The coronavirus pandemic has impacted not only the academic life of students, but also the extracurricular activities students usually participate in. Just like the virtual learning Brooklyn Friends School has adapted to, the dance community at BFS has also found innovative ways to continue dancing in a virtual environment. The IB dance program at BFS aims to provide a rigorous and academic study of different dance styles. Their recent IB dance showcase was put together by solos created by the IB1 dance class and a group piece created by the IB2 dance class. On today's episode of The Life, we will be interviewing two IB dance students to learn more about how COVID has impacted their dance lives. My name is Evelyn and I am a senior at Brooklyn Friends School. I am in the IB2 dance class. Today, I will be interviewing Amaya, who is a junior at Brooklyn Friends School. She is in the IB1 dance class. I have a few questions for you today, Amaya. The first one is, what was your approach to choreographing your solo and what inspired you? Jesse had us create these boxes and in the boxes we created like, well, we put memoirs and specific items that inspired us in the boxes and one of those was um, my aunt and like my friends and obviously other experiences I've had um, that were personal to me. And I used those um, individual items to create dance movement. And like, I found a song and I was able to use those items as inspiration for my, um, like my choreography. What is the meaning behind your piece? So my piece is about the growth of me and how over time, despite like the many challenges that I faced in my life, I was able to like grow from them and use them to make myself better and eventually achieve this sort of confidence that I lacked in the beginning of the piece or in the beginning of my life. What were some of the challenges you had to work around given the virtual format? The first thing was just space. Um, obviously, when we are when we were not in COVID, um, I had a studio. I was able to use the dance studio at the school, and even just like studios in general that you know were available to me at easier access. Um, and I feel like I didn't have that in my house, so having to find a place to record the dance was obviously um, one big challenge that I faced. And another one was like not having a mirror, so finding a space wasn't hard. And eventually, we found a studio that we could rent but it was just a matter of getting one that had a mirror so that we could see what we were doing. That was also an issue um, or a challenge that we had to work around. Um, and finally, we got a studio with a mirror that was big enough for the both of us where we can, you know, distance and stuff, so. Yeah, no, I relate to that challenge a lot. Um, I definitely was not dancing in front of a mirror, so I was pretty lost in what I was doing. Uh, thank <laughs> you so much. Those were all the yeah. questions I had for you. Um, my name is Amaya, and I am a junior at Brooklyn Friends School. I'm in the IB1 dance class. Out today, I will be interviewing Evelyn Yu, who is a senior at Brooklyn Friends School and is a part of the IB2 dance class. Um, I have some of the following questions for you, Evelyn. I heard that you are a very experienced dancer and have been dancing for a very long time now. What challenges do you think COVID presented for you as a dancer? Um, maybe something that you've never experienced in the past. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I've been doing ballet um, since I was around like three, four years old. Definitely, of course, logistical challenges like space and not having the right floor to really dance in and the difficulty with Zoom ballet and the lagging and the Wi-Fi and everything. Um, but I think something that's been harder um, is a lack of connection. The fact that you dance around people and with people in a room makes it feel a lot more connected and it gives you a lot more motivation and it just feels different. So when I transitioned to Zoom dance, um, both in my ballet studio and um, at BFS, it was harder to be in the moment and really express myself because like, no one is next to me. So. Why should I dance full out? If you could change anything about the IB2 dance, um, completed in terms of like recording it or piecing it together, what would you change? Um, well, I think the biggest one would be having it in person, but we know that that's not really, um, that wasn't really a possibility. I don't think there's that much I would change. I think 
Jesse did a very nice job of putting together our group piece. Um, I thought at first it would just be like um, eight Zoom boxes doing the same thing, but the way Jessie formatted it, she really broke it up and made it very creative and very eye-catching. So I actually really enjoyed it, and even though it was virtual, I think um, Jessie really did a phenomenal job putting it together. And if it wasn't for Zoom dance, I would never have uh, seen anything like it. Um, I think having this IB dance curriculum at school is very important for people who are interested in dance. I think dance, unlike the, the visual arts, it's a way of really expressing yourself in a physical way that can be very vulnerable, but can be very fun and energizing. Um, and you definitely learn more about yourself as a dancer and as a person. I came into BFS with very little dance experience and having not only Jesse as a teacher, but the IB curriculum now, I feel like has taught me a lot about different dance styles and techniques that I wouldn't have looked into if I had just been on, let's say like Panther Supreme dance team, um, because we focus more on hip hop and um, things like that. So I feel like having this curriculum has really taught me a lot about what it means to be a dancer, but also the different dance techniques that it takes. After interviewing Evelyn, I've learned a lot about the challenges that dancers, including myself, have faced during this time and the many ways we have to work around it. However, we will continue to thrive and hope for the best despite these challenges and in future times commend ourselves for overcoming such difficulties.